glad to be joined now by Finley swimming head coach Andrew Makepeace and coach uh, thanks for your time um, you know this is going to be a really exciting inaugural event so with the two leagues combining um, just talk about a little bit of some of your own expectations for both your men's and women's programs coming in. Yeah you know we're really excited about this opportunity um, we've been in the GLIAC obviously for a number of years moving away from the GLIAC and coming into the GMAC you know it's exciting for a lot of people on our team um, they didn't have the opportunity to make that final swim last year that they're going to have a chance to do this year. So being able to swim prelims and finals for a lot of people is going to make a big difference in just their overall, you know, times. And, and I think that that's important because it gives a lot of confidence moving forward, you know, not just in the pool itself. So we're excited about the opportunity. Um, really looking forward to the competition. Congratulations to both your teams being uh, scholar, all-American teams by the CSCAA. Um, how important and how proud of you uh, of your student athletes for, for getting that? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big thing for us at Finley. Um, you know, obviously the priority is always to be a student and then an athlete. Um, we That takes no exception at our school, especially with our program. We want to make sure that everybody's bound for success future, not just currently. So after they graduate, after they're done competing. Um, so to be able to be, you know, as successful as they were, especially the women, um, doing as, high, as, as well as they've done the last few years, it's been pretty impressive, you know, remarkable turnaround. They've been consecutive CSCAA Scholar All-Americans for a number of years now. And our guys aren't too far behind. Um, they got some work to do because they're a little bit behind the ladies, but um, you know, it's pretty impressive and we're pretty proud of all those guys and girls. Yanko Radmanovic, a name that we've gotten to know um, quite familiar around the league this year as a five-time Athlete of the Week. Uh, what makes him so special in, uh, in the pool? Yeah, you know, he's, he's got a lot of um, ability, um, for one. You know, when he came to Finley, um, he wasn't the swimmer that he is now. I mean, he's, he's put in a lot of work, a lot of hours, um, both in the, you know, in the weight room and dry land activities, so outside the pool, as well as in the pool. And so having that, you know, definitely helps, but he's been working super hard. Um, he's always been somebody that, you know, helps promote others and, and gets them going for practice as well. So that's really helped influence our team, and that's helped a lot um, just to get to where the point we're at now. But, uh, yeah, he's just a tremendous worker, and, you know, he, he does things outside the pool, that kind of go unnoticed, like research on swimming technique and stuff like that, um, that makes the biggest difference when you just look at the, the minute times, you know, the, between first, second, third, fourth place. Sure. Also, you know, Yanko was the National Swimmer of the Week with uh, Amanda Stiegel on the women's side. Um, talk about, a, a, you know, a couple of your ladies and uh, uh, some of the seasons they've had this year. Yeah, you know, our women's team has had a pretty incredible season. You know, we beat Wayne State for the first time in our program's history, which was really exciting. Um, and it's just kind of an indication of where the direction that we've been headed for the last few years. You know, we've been at the GLIAC meet, um, been knocking on the doors and getting to that top four, top three. Um, and just, you know, the, the talent that we have on the team, it's been a very long process. We've got a great group of individuals. It's really going to be interesting to see, actually, at the meet, because we have so many people that are in the top eight and so many opportunities to have such great swims that, you know, Amanda's a great name to use. She works so hard. Um, that's what makes her special. But we have so many other people that are just like that. And um, it's going to be awesome to see because we have so many great things in store. We had a great mid-season meet where we didn't even really rest and, uh, you know, knocked on the door some really good national cuts. So we're, we're expecting some pretty great things. Roster size, you've got, um, you know, obviously one of, one of the biggest uh, programs here. Um, how tough can it be to, to put these kids in, in different events when you're thinking strategically about points and, and trying to win the trophy? Yeah, uh, it's interesting. I, I never really thought about um, the point structure as much as you know anything that really goes along with what we're trying to accomplish. Um, individually, it's kind of what we do. We want to work with the athlete, the student athlete, to make sure it's their best experience. Um, so points are kind of secondary. We just assume at a certain point that th those points will start to accumulate with, with them performing in the events that they're you know, they're comfortable and confident doing. And that's the biggest thing is just having that confidence, being ready to go. And, uh, you know, we're really expecting some big things. So big team, um, obviously it was tough to kind of figure out the difference between who's going to point, score points for us and not. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we've got a really strong lineup and it's, it's going to really show this weekend. Yeah. Coach, thank you so much for your time. Uh, looking forward to these next four days and seeing your student athletes in action. Thank you.